you can see, Times Square right now looks like a normal busy day in New York City. Won't be long, though, before the streets are abandoned. Take a look at the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor. The water's fine for now, but significant chop and water rise expected in New York Harbor with the storm surge that will increase beginning later tonight and certainly through the day on Sunday. One place that could be impacted, we know it is New York. Stephanie Abrams is in Long Island, New York with more. Steph? All morning long, our conditions have been pretty consistent. We have seen clouds. We had a shower earlier this morning. And of course, it's just going to get worse as the day progresses. And then as we head into tomorrow, that's when we will see our worst weather. Behind me, you can see the surf is out there. People are looking at it. There are a slew of surfers here. I advise against it as we've already had reported deaths uh, from some surfers because of this storm. Now, they are preparing here. Let me show you what the lifeguards have done around their stand because we anticipate that water to come up. And they have built these dunes around the lifeguard stand so that their building will not be taken down. And speaking of the surge and the rainfall, you can follow me on Twitter. It's just Stephanie Abrams, one word. And on there, I'll be posting throughout the day updates for city-specific what your forecast is for the surge, for the rainfall, for the beach erosion. Here on Long Beach, New York, I have seen um, some boards up. I will say there's not a ton here. A lot of people are putting tape on the window. I'd advise against that. You want to do the three-quarter inch thick board. You just put an X on your window with the tape like that. You have something big flying through your window. I'm not quite sure that that just X of the uh, masking tape is really going to stop the whole thing from being blown out. It is nice to see that people are getting prepared ahead of Irene. In Long Beach, New York, I'm meteorologist Stephanie Abrams. Back to you. Stephanie, thank you. And a little bit of breaking news to pass along to you. We know that we often get a tornado threat with the landfalling hurricanes, and we do have that new tornado watch. It does include Chesapeake, Virginia, Hampton, Newport News, Norfolk, uh, Virginia Beach, extending now up through Delaware, and then southern Jersey as well. So that will be Cape May. Uh, Dr. Nab is with us, and he's been uh, just analyzing everything here from the expert desk. Now tornado threats are stretching far to the north. That, and also in Virginia, we've seen uh, flood warnings go up. The Blackwater River above Franklin, Virginia. So there's a long period of uh, freshwater flooding event that could uh, evolve in certain places, in addition to the storm surge problems <laughs> that we have. There's, there's just a lot going on. I mean, if you look at the structure of it, especially the center and then the, the western side of it, it's beautifully structured. Great banding that's going on with this that's causing big problems. It, it is. And you know, one thing I want to ask Mike Seidel, if he can hear us, is, is Mike, have you seen any increase in the ability of the water to get closer to the dunes, closer to the homes? Has there been any progression closer to any structures? No, Dr. Nav, good question. I have not seen that. As you know, the, the high tide this morning was 6.15, so we're, what, four or five hours past high tide, and certainly it's not going to go out like it should beach normally at high tide the water's way out to my left and but the water you know every now and then we get a wave that will come across where I'm standing on this this uh, replenished beach and the water go up to the dune but I don't see any significant rise when I covered Hurricane Floyd you could see the water rising within a few hours of when I took the eye of Floyd back in September 99 there uh, on the on the intercoastal there at Wilmington and Wrightsville Beach but I don't see that happening right now I suspect though the water may I suspect that part of the issue is the tide is going out as the water tries to come in, so maybe there's some... Wow. Some maybe there's some cancellation factor. Now, there's one of those gusts that had to be close to 70 miles an hour. This is as strong as the wind has been all morning long. And I... We're getting into one of those two, or at least on one of the fringe of one of the two bands, Dr. Nav, Mike Bettis, that you've been telling me that we're on the way, pinwheeling in here across the sounds and out here on this uh, barrier island. Here comes a wave. There you go, Dr. Nav. There goes a, a wave of water. So every now and then we see that. That's a great visual being led by a, a wall of sea foam, and that will go all the way up almost get to the Get out of there, line. dude. But He's going to get washed away by that. that it kind of... Then it kind of teeters out and comes rolling back and rolls up, rolls up the coast. So you got a good visual of what's going on with that wind. Even though the tide is going out, this wind is so strong. It's stronger than the uh, forces of the moon and the tide. And we have a new moon right now, so tides are running a little higher than average. We'll see how, again how we take that sound slide flooding here on the Outer Banks as we roll on through dinner time tonight. Again, if you've got here, I mean, visually, from what I can see at this point here at Nags Head, and I would, would assume it's the same up and down 
Kitty Hawk, Southern Shores up to Duck. You may have some shingles gone. You may have some siding gone, depending on if the wind has been channeled between your house and the neighbor's house. But there's no roofs coming off. Nothing's collapsing. And at least on the ocean side here, the dune line is doing its uh, doing what it's supposed to do. And that added in with the beach replenishment project. Still a lot of rain coming at us. It is just pouring once again. And if you can look behind me, that's Jeanette's pier behind me. If you can make it out, that was uh, taken out by Isabel. It's still standing. We don't expect to lose that. It's been built to withstand a Category 3. But you can see if you try to walk, you have to lean into the wind. And it is just howling right now. I noticed that most of the wind, though, is sustained. We're not getting any... It's not gusting maybe more than 5 or 10 miles an hour, I think, over the sustained wind, which is right up around 55 to 60 A tornado warning has been issued for our area. I, I don't have my radar out here. I wish I did, but I'm, I'm feeling that we're going to be taking this kind of weather for at least another several hours. Hey, hey, hey Mike, are you sure you're in a safe spot there? It looks like you could get uh, maybe hit by some retreating water. Are you okay there? Yeah, this is very high. I mean, the, the, the ocean right now is about 50 yards that way. We had that one wave that you just saw on camera come up over the berm and sweep in, but there's plenty of open beach here. Uh, I'm not going to put myself in any danger. The only uh, danger right now is the is, is the blowing is the blowing sand, and you can see the water here. But plenty of uh, plenty of beach between the dune line and the Atlantic out to my left. Mike, just, yeah, just, uh, uh, just don't turn your back to the ocean for too many uh, minutes at a time. Yeah, we, we saw those big waves come in there. Mike Seidel doing an incredible job out there, just kind of showing you the power of what's going on there. Nags head coming up. We're going to take you back to Squall Lines coming to Atlantic Beach right now. That's when we come back. It's dinner time in America with natural pet foods from PetSmart. More pet parents trust PetSmart for their natural pet foods than any place else. We carry more natural food brands than ever, like Innova, Simply Nourish, Natural Choice, Blue Buffalo, and more, all with our unbeatable price guarantee. Do what's best for your pet naturally at PetSmart. Happiness in store. Shop PetSmart or PetSmart.com for all your pet care needs. A young man with ambition met an old man at the top Asked him if he had a secret and the old man stopped and thought and said Free cause that's how it ought to be my brother Credit cause you need a loan for one thing or another Score cause they break it down to one simple number that you can use Time to take a break cause the name is kinda long Common honor of the internet that it's on Put it all together at the end of the song It gives free credit score dot Offer applies with enrollment in FreeCreditScore.com. Develop a plan for what you and your family will do before disaster strikes. Stay informed during severe weather any way you can and have a kit so you're ready for any emergency. Visit Weather.com slash ready and let the Weather Channel help keep you safe in emergencies. Energizer Ultimate Lithium lasts up to eight times longer, which means up to eight times less waste. Energizer Ultimate Lithium. Now that's positive energy. Been torn apart. Got so many scratches and scars. Maybe time can mend us together again. Here, when you need us most. State officials urge complete evacuation. Severe flooding is expected. It's okay. We're ready. When the things that matter most are on the line, make sure we are too. The storm response team. A tornado warning has been issued for our area. Develop a plan for what you and your family will do before disaster strikes. Stay informed during severe weather any way you can and have a kit so you're ready for any emergency. Visit weather.com slash ready and let the Weather Channel help keep you safe in emergencies. That leaky roof will cost you thousands in repairs and gushing gutters can destroy your home's foundation. Phil Swift here for Flex Seal, the easy way to coat, seal, and stop leaks fast. Flex Seal fills cracks and holes stopping the toughest leaks remaining completely flexible. Flex Seal is actually liquid rubber in a can. 
To show you the amazing sealing power of Flex Seal, we replaced the bottom of this boat with a screen door and covered it in Flex Seal. After a day on the water, the inside is completely dry. Don't call a repairman, that'll cost you thousands of dollars. You can get Flex Seal right now for just $19.99. Flex Seal is perfect for roof repair and basement leaks and so much more. But wait, we're going to double your order. That's twice the ceiling power for only $19.99. Just pay processing. Call now. To order Flex Seal, call 1 800 881 0485 or order online at getflexseal.com. our continuing coverage of Hurricane Irene. We have a couple of updates for you. First, we have uh, we're looking, we're live at Jeff Mar Atlantic Beach. Look at this. The pier at Atlantic Beach is falling. Jeff Mar is live on Atlantic Beach this morning for us. And you have already seen this pier sustain damage from Hurricane Irene. The surf, nearly 15 feet. The winds. And we're continuing to look at that. You can see it waving in the wind. Wow, Jen, it is, uh, you know, just when you think that Irene is done with you, uh, it is just howling out here right now on the backside of this hurricane. Uh, the pier has sustained some damage again, uh, at least. We just saw it fl fly away in about a 70 or 75 mile an hour wind gust. I'll tell you what, I can't barely stand here uh, at times because it is hard. It really surprises me a little bit. I thought that we were pretty much done with most of it here. And uh, I walked out to the end of this to take a look, and all of a sudden it just started. Oh, and I just saw a piece of a roof just come off the top of a, a house and just... National Weather Service in Wakefield has issued a tornado warning for Northern City of Chesapeake and Southeast Virginia, Southern City of Norfolk and Southeast Virginia, Southern City of Portsmouth and Southeast Virginia, Northern City of Virginia Beach and Southeast Virginia, until 11.15 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 10.41 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. This dangerous storm was located near Princess Anne and moving west at 55 miles per hour. This day a.m. South Norfolk, Craddock, downtown Portsmouth and downtown Norfolk around 10.55 a.m. Churchland and Deep Creek around 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by this dangerous storm include Greenbrier, Port Lock and Herbert's Corner. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle, or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may obscure this tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. We're getting the worst of the storm at time of low tide in the next couple of hours. You can see up here, right above me, shingles flapping around and over on this roof up here, try to get up here for you up on this dune, you can see that uh, they've lost some shutters there. And then you get up on the dune and the wind's blowing even stronger. Looking across the street and some of the houses across the street and there are, every house is look, every house has lost some, uh, some shingles and even some of the, uh, some of the siding. So that's the kind of damage we're seeing down here. Nothing significant, nothing major, but there's going to be a cleanup from all this sand and water that's going to somehow find its way into many of these properties. Let's go down to the the backside. The offshore wind now blowing and buffeting Jeff Morrow uh, back in Atlantic Beach. Jeff, I don't know if it was rain fade or your dish getting uh, buffeted by the wind, but we've got you back now. Go ahead. Mike, it's really hard for me to hear you because the wind is howling past me so hard. Uh, we're looking back out at the pier here. Uh, we had a gust, I would say, probably up around 65, 70.